Hi everyone, welcome back. This is Greg. And some time ago, I uploaded a video of a mod I did with my EDC key organizer. And until today, it's still working out great. But what I didn't show was at about the same time, what was that? Little mice running around. <laughs> what I didn't show was at the same time as I did the bungee mod for my key organizer was I did the bungee mod for my Trayvax OG 2.0. So first of all, shout out to the people over at Trayvax. Your products are simply awesome. This is the original packaging from my Trayvax wallet and it says, let me see that one, it was built by Omar. So whoever you are, Omar, thanks. And the Trayvax is still going strong. And this is built by Alex. This is actually the Trayvax cinch belt. That, well, I'm still using <laughs> until now. Why did I mod my Trayvax? Because originally the Trayvax OG 2.0 came with a paracord like string, okay, going around, okay. So the paracord is really, really strong, but it had very little stretch to it okay so when you needed to adjust the thickness of your tray wax you have to weave the paracord through to loosen it and when you insert the the additional cards you have to weave through the paracord to tighten it again so what I did was to replace the paracord with bungee so instead of a static cord i replace it i replaced the cord with stretchable bungee okay and as time went on the bungee got dirty and today i'm actually gonna replace the bungee on this tray wax and i'm gonna make a video to show you guys how how I made the mod all right so let's go so for the replacement bungee I'm gonna use a black bungee cord you can buy these rows of bungee cord online or you can buy these from outdoor shops they're usually the stuff that is used to repair tent poles okay so if you got broken tent poles this is the cord that goes inside your poles so that it holds it together so you can buy rolls of these and it's not very expensive at all okay so we'll use this takes maybe one meter roughly okay so we'll cut that off just get some sharp shears and melt the ends okay then I'm gonna cut off the end also of this bungee so we start off with a fresh end because the ends tend to fray so whenever I start a new project I cut off the end so I end up with clean tips of paracord or bungee cord so when you have a roll of bungee it comes with this spool that has notches on the side and never forget to lock it in because when you're bungee 
unravels its real pain to wind them back onto the spool. So we have our bungee cord. So let me just remove the old one. And this is the same way as if you have a new Travax OG 2.0, this is the same way to remove the original cord. So just remove the, the nut. Okay, let me get my, this is just a, a spike I use when I'm working on paracord. So you can use a pen or this uh, spike. Okay, so you got the knife, the cord out, uh, the the knot out. Okay, so let me just remove all of the cards. So this is what we end up with. Just remove. Cord. Okay, at the very center of that cord would be a metal tube. Okay, that's the tube that latches on to to this point okay so make sure you don't lose that okay so this is the old cord and this is just the two pieces the two plates of your Trivax OG 2.0 an indestructible basically <laughs> indestructible pieces of metal so unless you're trying to destroy these things these will last you several lifetimes okay so I've used this for quite some time and it does have some scratches but still looks pretty good so you get your cord insert the tube okay so never lose that tube so it would help if you center your cord there all right and then line up the plates so you line up the plates Okay, line up the holes. Then we thread them in. Okay. So, first one, second one. I try to do this alternate. So, I keep the cord even. Okay, let me remove this. All right. So I hope you can see this. And then this goes parallel to the plates. Originally, the cord runs parallel to the plates because this is for you to be able to hold a card or your ID on the outside, okay? And maybe you can hang it as, a, as an ID or a badge, okay? So I like this concept but the the problem I had 
was it was easy to pry pry off the card off of the front of this of your tray wax because it's held only at the corners of the wallet so basically you can pry off the card all right <clears throat> so what i did was instead of running the cord parallel to the plates was i crossed them over okay so instead of parallel we are going to cross this over okay so it crosses over the plate then you go from the back again parallel okay then going to the front you go to the next one to the corner and you end up with this okay and because the cord crosses in front the card is now captured totally in your Trivax wallet and there's no easy way to actually pry that off of the card okay it's still easy to slide in a card on the outside okay so this is the mod I did and this is extremely useful okay because everybody gets a new card well every single time you go to the mall because you get your parking card okay when you go into the mall you press the button a card comes out and where do you put your parking card so for me i just slide it in here then lock it in when you're about to leave the ball you remove it you go pay for your card okay you close your tray wax back and then you don't have to mess with the other cards that you regularly have inside your tray wax okay so i hope you got that mod and now let's go finish our weave for the rest of our bungee cord so as you come out of the last holes of the back plate next you have to insert the two running ends of your bungee cord through this slit at the bottom so can you see the slit at the bottom okay so when you remove you insert the cord through the slit at the bottom they have to come out through the two holes at the bottom plate okay so let's insert one this one there you go then the other one in there okay and now this end you can finish this off however you want so i'm just gonna make an overhand knot you can finish with any paracord weave you want you can put a snake knot you can put beads on it so whatever you like so this is how it will end up okay if you would notice there are three holes at the bottom plate so the two holes where the bungee cord came out and this third hole where i have a small split ring inserted okay so 
I placed a small split ring. You can get these. Well, I got mine from a fishing store, fishing supply store. You can buy them by the pack. They're super cheap. Okay, or you can get the split ring from an old keychain. Okay, so this is the end of the bungee mod. Okay, so let's try to put some cards in. So now, because your Trayvax has an extended cord and actually stretches, okay, now you can fit as many cards as you like. Okay, so I have a lot of cards. You can see I have a very thick stack of cards. Okay, and then you can close it up. Okay, pull the, the cord snug. Okay, take out all of the slack. Why did I put a split ring on my Trayvax? Because I carry a lanyard around. Okay, sometimes I need to wear an ID. Okay, and because of what's happening happening in the world recently, there was a time that we had to present quarantine passes. So I put mine on the end of a lanyard. So, when I'm at the grocery, I can just clip in my small snap link to this split ring here, which enables me to open my Trayvax, get a credit card or whatever discount card at the grocery, close it back, and not put the Trayvax down. Okay, because I still have to put the, the card back. So while waiting for that, I can have it hanging around my neck. Okay, you, if you have a Trayvax, you know that there's another hole in the Trayvax right here. Okay, Ob obviously, yes, you can put your Trayvax hanging on a carabiner from there. However, I find it when I'm using it, it's actually cumbersome to get cards because they hit the carabiner. Okay? Especially if the, the stack of cards is still thin, it's hard to get some of the cards from the back okay? because they hit the carabiner. All right, so I prefer to have my Trayvax hanging from the back split ring. You can actually end the knot here already. You don't have to put an, another stopper knot because it's enough to hold the tension. But over time, it will actually creep okay, and loosen a bit. But... It does, it's not enough to enable the latch to come off. Okay, so if you like, you can put an overhand knot right here. Okay, but if you can find one of these, I don't know if you can see them. Okay, this is uh, something that can that came off one of either the bags or the jackets of. Of the kids you can buy these online these are really cheap and somebody shouting <laughs> looking for mommy okay so you can insert one of these and it will help retain the tension on your bungee cord okay so that's it and I end this one with a simple overhand knot. 
another thing I like to attach to my Trayvax wallet is a small AAA flashlight. So in this case, this is a Streamlight MicroStream. And you can simply clip it to the side. Okay. And it will not come off. It's securely in there. And with your wallet, you actually have a flashlight at the ready anytime. And this is actually a better solution than having something clipped and dangling around and getting scratched up because this thing is not moving on its own. Okay, aside from this stream light, you can also attach this Olight i3T EOS. Okay, it also takes a single AAA battery and this actually goes in a little easier because of the longer pocket clip. Use this one. Okay, and I actually like this better because my Olight is in desert tan and it matches the olive green Trayvax wallet. You try it? Tell me what you think and if you have any suggestions on how to improve this mod okay let me know in the comments okay so thanks for watching leave a comment subscribe and all of that stuff and i'll see you on the next video